Hi viewers, welcome to Lama Solution. Today we are going to see about solar EV battery powered electric vehicle. So this is a simulation model of uh, solar EV battery powered electric vehicle. That electric vehicle uh, consists of uh, the local load, the local load of the electrical vehicle is like a lamp load or a AC load. Okay. And then uh, it is another load, nothing but the BLTC motor drive. Okay, so the BLTC motor drive used to drive that uh, transmission, right? So, drive the electric vehicle. Okay, so it consists of uh, voltage source inverter, uh, BLTC motor, and then uh, it have closed loop speed control, right? Here, we are going to measure the actual speed of the BLTC motor and it is going to be compared with the, the drive cycle command and then it is going to be processed via PA controller so the PA controller will be generated the duty cycle and it is going to be processed via pedulium generator ok so the output of this pedulium generator is going to be combined with the getting pulse of the voltage source inverter based upon the all sensor output of the BLTC motor and finally the the gating pulse and the pulse from the pedulum generator will be combined by using and gate and finally it going to be given to that voltage source inverter to control the power of the BLTC motor or control the speed of the BLTC motor okay and then here we have uh, 3 Newton meter load right so this 3 newton meter load always present in the system okay because uh, electric vehicle having uh, full load in the uh, uh, full load always okay so we have to mention that we have to protect that concept so here we are making a uh, 3 newton meter so that 3 newton meter always present in the electric vehicle that will be this motor drive okay and then and this BLD motor drive will be uh, powered from the uh, solar PV system and the battery energy storage system. Okay, so here we are using a uh, 2000 watts uh, PV panel. So single panel having 250 watts, and then so nowadays you can see that uh, there are flexible PV panel available in the market so we can use that kind of PV panel in order to generate 2000 watts power from the uh, source of sunlight okay so here we use that uh, 2000 watts PV panel and uh, here we consider 8 panel the 8 panel will be connected in series okay so here you can see that the voltage at maximum power point for the each panel will be 30.7 and current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps okay so single panel will supply maximum 250 watts so 8 panel in series so it can supply maximum of uh, 2000 watts okay and then it going to be connected to the common DC bus so this is known as common DC bus so here I, we are going to maintain the voltage at around 400 volt okay so here uh, we will get around 245 volt here we need 400 so we have used boost converter here and then this boost converter is going to be controlled by means of a mbpt algorithm okay so here why we are using mbpt algorithm means because uh, the irradiation temperature is going to be uh, very uh, time to time okay so if irradiation temperature going to be very means the, the power of peak power of the peak and also will be very so that can be uh, seen in that uh, PVIV catastrophe so here you can see that so here we have the 25 degree celsius temperature in the PV cell and here we are varying the irradiation right from 1800 600 400 and also you can see that the peak point of the PV panel for different irradiation condition going to be changed so we need to extract this uh, peak point in order to get the maximum power from the PV array so so for the purpose only we are using MBPT algorithm so here we are using incremental conductance MBPT 
so it going to be receive two inputs on is pv voltage and current so the pv voltage and current going to be processed via the incremental conductance and vpt so this is a code for incremental conductance and vpt so you can check my youtube channel right so already i explained about incremental conductance and vpt so you will see the uh, more uh, elaborate detail on that uh, youtube video so kindly check my youtube channel about incremental conductance and vpt and now so output of this single model conductance and vpt nothing but do to see okay so based upon voltage and current incremental conductance vpt will be uh, adjust the duty cycle so this duty cycle will be passes via uh, pd volume generator okay this pd volume generator generate the pulse this pulse will be control this igpd of igpd of this boost converter in order to extract the maximum power as well as boost the voltage from 245 volt to 400 volt and here we are using battery storage okay the battery storage will be connected to the DC bus via this bidirectional converter so because uh, battery can be access your source as well as load okay so if we excess power only in the PV so then it will be sent to the uh, battery and uh, that means uh, whatever power uh, that means PV having excess power that means more than load right then the excess power will be given to battery to charge okay uh, when uh, PV is not uh, have enough power to supply the load means so during that may time the battery will be supply that uh, uh, load of a electric vehicle okay so for that we have this bidirectional converter so it will be working in both direction okay so it can take power from the solar PV or it can supply the power to the uh, DC bus so this uh, bidirectional converter will be controlled by means of voltage control method so here we are going to measure the DC bus voltage and it going to be compared with the reference voltage and it going to be processed via PA controller and then it going to be processed via PDW generator so it will be generated the PDW impulse for this uh, bidirectional converter not to maintain the DC bus voltage constant and also it will be uh, change the direction of current flow according with the power balance in the system okay and here you can see that here we are measuring the pv voltage current and the power and here we are measuring uh, dc bus voltage and the electric vehicle input current and the input power and here we are measuring a uh, uh, battery voltage current and power and then here we are measuring the source of the battery and here we are created the drive cycle right uh, from 0 to 1.5 second the speed of the build this motor will be increased from 0 to 2000 rpm uh, from 1.5 to 3.5 right the, the speed of the build this motor maintained at 2000 rpm right constant speed operation and then from 3.5 to 5 second the speed will be decreased from 2000 to 0 so 0 to 1.5 1.5 second known as acceleration mode 1.5 to 3.5 known as a constant speed operation of the electric vehicle and 3.5 to 5 seconds known as a the deceleration mode of uh, de deceleration operation of the de electric vehicle okay so for that we created the de reference speed command like that okay so here you can measure the uh, stator current and the EMF, uh, that mean, uh, emf of the de build this motor and then here you can measure the speed of the build dc motor and here you can measure the electromagnetic torque of the build dc motor okay and then here we create that uh, varying irritation condition scenario okay so in order to investigate the, the system performance with the varying irradiation because during a uh, driving right the solar radiation right will be very right so in order to project that detail so here we varying the radiation and then you have to check the, the performances of the system right like uh, pv voltage current power as well as battery charging discharging and then uh, and we have to see the performance of the electric vehicle okay so for that we create this scenario so now i'm going to submit this model and then you have to see the result of the solar pv powered electric vehicle results so 
So here you can see that uh, PV power is initially the irradiation is 1000 after that comes to uh, 800 right. So here you can see that so 1000, 800, 500, 300 and then 100 for every one second right. So initially the PV power uh, irradiation is 1000 watts per meter square. So, for 1000 watts per meter square, PV is generating uh, 2000 watts, okay. And then, so this here you can see the DC bus voltage maintained at 400. And then, this is the power of the electric vehicle, right? Input power of the electric vehicle. So, there is excess power uh, in the uh, PV, so that's why battery charging mode, okay. So, when uh, irradiation change to 800, right, uh, it generated around uh, only 1700 or 600 watts, okay. So, during that time, uh, uh, we need uh, some excess power, that means we need uh, power from the source, right. So, because of that, battery going for a uh, discharging mode. So, here you can see that battery power is positive. So, battery power is negative means. Uh, charging mode battery power is positive means um, uh, discharging mode so here you can see that battery is uh, uh, discharging now because uh, we need to supply power to the load so that's why uh, battery supplying power now okay so that can be seen here right so initially it going for charging mode after this uh, once again right uh, we need a uh, we need to supply the load uh, that means electric vehicle power right so that's why battery is at the charging okay and here you can see that as per the speed command right speed will be rises from 0 to 2000 rpm and then it will be uh, it maintained at uh, 2000 rpm so from 0 to 1.5 second known as uh, acceleration mode from 1.5 to 3.5 second known as uh, a constant speed operation mode and then 3.5 to 5 second it going by deceleration mode and then here you can see that the, 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 the uh, electromagnetic torque of the machine is maintained is around the uh, 3 newton meter and then this is stator current and the emf so the emf um, electromotive force will be going to be very according with the, the speed of the bldc motor so now you can see that uh, the pv power is very less so the battery is trying to supply the power to the load not to make a power balance between source and the load okay so here you can see that this is the power input power of the electric vehicle okay so because electric vehicle consists of a build DC motor as well as a local lamp and some other loads okay so this is the input power of the electric vehicle and then so here you can see that the speed variation speed control of build DC motor okay so as per our full speed command so it will be controlled very effectively okay and also here you can see that so this is a soc charging discharging characteristics of the battery okay so this is a result of solar pv powered electric vehicle so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye